we have an adventure forest and we have a zip line. I think that there's a growing need to get students and especially young folks outside and, and seeing West Virginia. This is a 7,800 acre university forest that's 15 minutes from campus. This is a way to get them out away from class, away from the screens and all of that, and outside doing an experience where they'll form some great bonds with other students. We're really excited about Canopy Tours because we are the first university in the country with a Canopy Tour. And so it's one of the fastest growing areas in the venture tourism markets because it's accessible to everybody. But it allows you to see the forest from a different view. Instead of just looking up at the trees, you're in the trees and you're moving through the canopy and uh, that's why they're so popular. The educational resources that we have as an institution can really play into some really unique uh, teaching aspects of the Canopy Tour. So one uh, aspect of the curriculum that we're working to develop right now is a, a curriculum focused on the science and, and uh, physics and math behind zip lining. Um, utilizing mathematical formula to estimate uh, a person's speed while zipping across the wires, which is dependent on a number of factors, can be a really eye-opening and practical application of math and science. And additionally, when we envision the Canopy Tour, we envision it as a teaching tool for a lot of different disciplines. So you can imagine an arborist, uh, arboriculture class coming up and taking advantage of it, um, a forest ecology class. In West Virginia, with the Summit Vector Reserve coming, they have more miles of zip lines than anywhere else in North America. And so there's a real need for safe operation, long-term operation of that facility, and we can play a critical role in providing folks that have an opportunity to work there, as well as other regional uh, canopy tours. There will be 30,000 plus kids from all over the country coming to West Virginia and falling in love with West Virginia. And we hope that some of those uh, kids from all over the U.S. will think about WVU when they're thinking about college.